everybody what's up it's Barbara and I'm back with a November favorite that is right y'all literally the year is basically almost over but I'm so happy that we're entering into December because I love I don't love winter because I don't like being cold and I live in Georgia and we have a more temperate climate so we experience almost all the seasons but I love the feeling that I have during winter I like how my brain works in winter I feel like fall means that it's like a more sultry time it's more the air is more romantic the leaves are falling they're changing like I, I don't know that's just how my brain works but in winter it's like whimsical most people are in high spirits because you know it's the holidays and I also feel like miracles happen a whole 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 lot in the winter so I don't know I just like the whole concept of like December's coming we're in high spirits, everybody's loving and kind, and it's ending, and then we're about to start a new chapter of something going into January. So, something about that just like, it just, it makes the little heart pitter-patter, the, the imaginary one, the one that's in the center, not the one that actually makes us breathe. <laughs> but anyway, like the title of this video, I'm here to do my November favorites. And surprisingly, with this favorites, I have a lot more beauty items. Which is weird because I know in a, one or two of my other videos, I was like, I'm not a big beauty kind of kid. Like, I'm the kind of person, I like what I like. I use what I like for a long time until I'm pushed to try something new and then I fall in love with that and I use that for a long time. But yeah, I have a lot of beauty products, surprisingly. So if you want to see what I have been loving this November, <laughs> stay tuned. So my first item I think is very weather themed appropriate like going from cold weather to no <laughs> going from warm weather to cold weather and honestly this is something I should be using year round. So a little backstory: I am probably one of this is going to sound so gross and crusty but the ashiest people <laughs> you'll ever meet. I do not put, I like it's rare for me to take the time to go put on lotion on my whole body because I am lazy very very lazy I rather just jump out the shower throw on my clothes and you know lotion be lazy and trifling and lotion up the parts that I feel like I should but um, I was watching the real the show with like Tamar and Adrian and Jeannie and all that they were doing a segment called I woke up like this which was supposed to showcase like everyone's getting ready process in the morning Adrian's process she had one thing in there that I was really like intrigued by and I was like let me try this and what she was using or what she tried was she was using good old coconut oil coconut oil and she was like basically moisturizing her whole entire body from face to arms everything she was just like slapping coconut oil all over her body and I was like you know what you always hear about how good coconut oil is it's like this multi it's like this multi-purpose oil for whatever you can use it in your hair you can use it to cook with you can use it on your body and since I'm lazy I was like you know what I'm gonna challenge myself and I'm gonna like really take the time to start caring about not just the skin on my face but the skin on my body and moisturizing it and making sure like after I've taken a really good shower make sure I'm taking care of this skin because this is the skin I'm going to grow old with and when I get older I want it to look nice so this coconut oil is called Tahitian Sunset organic version coconut oil it says it's all natural cold press no trans fats no GMO and it's raw it says it's 100% raw and when I'm buying oils because I like to buy a lot of different oils for my hair because underneath this I'm natural I always make sure that the ingredient says it is 100% whatever it is I'm looking for so if you find oils and it says it's argan oil but then you look in the ingredients and it's like olive oil argan oil coconut don't get that you want 100% the oil you're looking for and this says it is 100% organic virgin unrefined coconut oil and this is true coconut oil when it's cold it's in a solid form when it is warm and I have been loving this oil like I said when I get out of the shower I just take my time like I'll turn on a YouTube video or show that I'm liking at the time and I'll just work it into my skin my elbows my hands my legs my stomach my feet everything and I can honestly say, especially since the air is getting cooler now and crisper and more dry, 
my skin is not reacting the way it usually would in a negative way. I'm waking up in the morning because I like to take night showers as well and my skin is soft, it's smooth, it's not dry and it, it doesn't feel rough, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to be in my skin. So because of that reason, I'm going to continue to use coconut oil. I picked mine up from Burlington Coat Factory. Try places like Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, all those places that sell like nicks and knacks of different items throughout the whole store because when I went to like a health food store or at Walmart, one jar of coconut oil was 10 bucks. I'm a cheapie. So I was like, I'm not paying for this. So I went there and I actually found a jar for six bucks. And then when I decided I wanted to really take the time to like use this for the purpose I had purchased it for, I was like, I'm gonna stock up because it was running out fast. And I went up and I picked up another jar. So in my mind, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is every time I make a stop in a store like that, I'm just gonna look and see if they have some so I can like create this bulk pile of coconut oil and preserve my beauty secrets. <laughs> Okay, so my next beauty item is something I'm just so fascinated with at the moment. Um, like I told you guys before, I'm not a really big makeup-y person. Um, I'm trying to do better with makeup. I like it, I'm just not the best at it because I don't practice it. It is an art, art artistry. <laughs> It is a skill, it is something that should be practiced, so I'm trying to get better. But one of my favorite steps in my makeup is highlighting but or illuminating. I love using like a shimmery highlight on the bridge of my nose and like the high points of my cheek. So I was watching, what was I watching? I was watching Ashley D Beauty's vlog and she was getting ready to go shopping with, I think it was Raven Elise, and she was telling us about this highlight that she found at the good old beauty supply store by this brand Ruby Kisses. So it looked so bomb on her that I was like, all right, I have to go find this. I have a few local like beauty supply stores in my area. So I was like, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go find this thing. And you guys, it go please go watch her video because she was not lying when she said it was bomb and it's so affordable. And what it is is the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder and it looks like this, it's like this, y'all. And this stuff is so pigmented. Like, I do not know if you guys can see that. I'm, I'll try and do some close-ups, but look at this. <laughs> I love this stuff, like you guys, right there. I'm wearing it now, if you can see or tell or whatever. But yeah, I'm wearing it now. And I have it on the high points of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. When I got this, I obsessed over it to the point that the day I bought it, I don't even think I was wearing any makeup. I just decided that I was going to take a makeup brush and bathe in it and walk around the house and <laughs> like duck and dive out of light so I can see it and then not see it, reflect it and then not reflect it. But you guys, this is so bomb and it's only $3.99. And you know, things like highlighters, these things don't run out fast because you don't need a whole bunch of them or a whole bunch of it to put on your face for your makeup application. But I think there's like four colors, including this one. So you know me, like I'm the type of person, I like multiples of the same thing in another color or shade. So I'll probably be heading back there to go pick up the other three colors because I have a problem and I need to talk to somebody about it, but I'm I'm gonna wait till the new year. But you know, please, like if you can go pick up this product. It is, it is just amazing. I also think this is gonna be really um, gorgeous like in the summer, give you that literal goddess glow. And the color that, um, or the shade that this one is in is in brown's glow. I think they had like a gold glow or flush glow or a deep glow, well, all the glows. But I'm gonna, I'm on the hunt, like I'm scheming for them. Okay, so my next product is a lip product. And in terms of makeup, my two favorite things are illuminating and lips and brows, which made that three. And I'm sure that there's other things. I really like lip products. <laughs> I really like lip products. So last year, the like brownie kind of nude lip was really on trend. And I know like everyone was kind of crediting Kylie Jenner for it because 
of like the lip combos that she was coming up with which were really bomb but if you look back to like some old 90 television shows you'll actually see that the brown lip was on trend in the 90s and it's just a reoccurring trend that came back I was loving that trend last year and I'm stuck on it again this year. I don't think I'm letting go. I think I'm going to be stuck on it for winter, summer, fall, spring, all that blah, blah, blah. So I was at my local beauty supply store and they sell LA Girl there. I also follow LA Girl, LA Girl on Instagram. And I saw that they had stocked these new matte flat velvet lipsticks. And the packaging just looks like this. It's just like... A thin lipstick tube it's all black and then at the bottom I think you see like a peak of what the color is supposed to be so with the brown theme that I'm in I picked up the color spicy and you guys I'm in love I'm feeling spicy wearing spicy so it looks like this when you roll it up I feel like they could give you more product than that because that's kind of all you get but hey I mean when you run out I'll go get it because I think these are only $3.99 or something like that but you guys it is like so bomb I don't know if you can see that I'm again with this I'm gonna try and do some close-ups but it's like a it's like a brown infused with like a wine oxblood color it is so beautiful it could be used as like a vampy lip for lighter skin tones and then for deeper skin tones like myself just a nice sultry kind of everydayish like fall lip but I am obsessed and there were other colors there was one that um, one other brownie type of color I think it was in the shade runaway because it kind of looked the same and I was testing them out and I didn't know which one to get but I ended up walking out with spicy again I'm thinking about going back and getting runaway and I'm on the hunt for an affordable matte red lipstick and since these are so affordable and I like that like I can try it out and if I don't like it I won't feel as bad if I didn't spend like 27 bucks on a lipstick that I'm not gonna wear so I'm gonna go and head back if I go pick up that other color and see if I find a red in a shade that I'm really really loving but please go pick up the matte flat velvet lipsticks from LA girl I'm sure they have it on their websites and you can also try your local beauty supply store if you have a beauty supply that sells like NYX and LA girl and all that jazz because that's where I got mine so I'm sure they're in other local beauty supply stores too so the next product is a product that I was kind of late to the game with and that's because I'm just a lazy bum I mean <laughs> I'm a lazy person and I'm talking about the real techniques miracle complexion sponge i think don't quote me on that but but it is this orange squishy sponge and it's known to be a dupe for the famous beauty blender and i'm really loving this so like i said i'm up in i'm up in my makeup game i'm trying to look like someone who cares about how their makeup looks <laughs> so i've been using this to just diffuse under eye concealer like lighter concealer for when I highlight underneath my eyes I'll put it like in a little triangle shape um the bridge of my nose I'll diffuse that out and then I'll put like an upside down triangle on my forehead and then a right side up triangle on my chin and I'll diffuse it out like that if I want to get fancy and think I'm about to like do a cool little contour look or like reverse contour I'll also put it underneath my contour right here on the sides of my cheeks and then diffuse that out and then I'll set everything with the powder but I'm loving this um you can use it wet or dry like the beauty blender and I prefer to use mine wet but when I'm lazy I do use it dry the theme of this video is that I am lazy and that is something that does not sound good out loud I use it wet a lot and it works really good wet because it if you put on too much product this will diffuse it out and pick up the excess product and leave you with just the right amount it's also good at diffusing or um, blurring out the lines of that merge between like say your cream contour and your concealer right here so I have been killing like killing I absolutely love it I'm like why is my voice cracking like I'm going through puberty it's like everything to me it's perfect I know a lot of people use their like beauty blenders or their um, real technique sponges to like apply foundation or tint and moisturizer BB cream so I'm on the hunt for a new BB cream or tint and moisturizer so I'm definitely gonna try it out with that but I've actually had this 
for a very long time since last year it's just recently i actually like gave it a real chance and like stuck with using it because i'd use it and then i wouldn't use it anymore and then i'd come back but i've been using it like obsessively each time i'm applying my makeup and i'm trying to have like really good makeup application um i got mine at walmart i think they sell them at target too but i got my and i think ulta or is this a four i think ulta i'm not sure but i know i got mine at walmart and i have two i spent six dollars on one on one visit and then five dollars on another visit but it's in that five to six dollar price range it's really affordable as opposed to purchasing the like twenty dollar beauty blender which i actually hear is pretty pretty amazing so maybe i'll treat myself to that for christmas and try that out but for right now i'm loving this so my last like beauty item is more or less a beauty gadget which i guess you could kind of say that sponge was a gadget but this is more of an actual gadget so I have, like many other girls, all my little hot tools that burn me all the time when I'm trying to do my hair. But I always find it hard when I'm like doing my hair and then I'm trying to hold a piece and then pick up the hot tool and then put it here and then put it back down and I'm grabbing another piece and then you're scared if you're gonna burn the counter, all this hoopla, you're scared you're gonna set the house on fire. So I was at the beauty supply store again, my, my second and I was just wandering through the aisles and I came across what is a cool gadget which and it's also a gadget that's been around for a long time I just never thought to go get it but it is a hot tool or a like flat iron and there's like a little hole right here in the center and then it has like these four suction cups on the bottom and you just like suction it to your flat surface or the counter of wherever your hot tool is and when you're done you just put your hot tool in it so like I have one of my flat irons and if I was doing my hair you know I'm doing whatever and then when I want to like section off another piece I just close my flat iron and then put it in here and then it rests like that in the thing almost like you have your own little salon at home but you're gonna make sure that you're not burning yourself you're not burning the counter and it's also good for when you're done doing your hair and you unplug your flat iron you don't just have to leave it there on the like I know a lot of people leave theirs on the edge of the sink or the edge of the counter you can leave it in here and it'll cool off and then by the time you come back it's cool and you can put it away or um, you can just leave it out on, on your bathroom counter and have your flat iron sitting there it holds other hot tools too I know it holds one of my curling wands but this was a great steal and it's by the brand Red by Kiss. I think this was $7. When I saw it, I was like, you know what? I've been needing something like this without even realizing that I need something like this. But after I found it, <laughs> I went on Amazon and I was just typing in like flat iron hot tool holders. And there's so many. Of course, when I discovered this one, I realized like it's been around for years. But I'll probably like go pick up some other ones and like let it host other tools so each one has its own and say there's a time I flat iron but I also need to curl at the same time you know I can do that or I'm just trying to waste money but this is a really good product so if you see anything like this or you see this exact one go get it especially if you're like me and you have a lot of hot tools and you just don't want to have to keep putting it down on a towel or the counter this is a great thing this is a great buy so we're getting down to the wire and I think I have about three more items and only one of them is like a, a physical item so I've been working in my place of business the attire is casual wear which is great for me because I'm not a suit nine to five type of person I'm a I like jeans and a t-shirt and if I can wear sweatpants and a hoodie then that's what I want to wear but I'm also love the practicality of denim so every time I go to a store whether it be a thrift store a regular clothing store I'm always looking at the denim section whether it be skirts shirts pants but I love denim shirts I like just throwing them on with leggings or another pair of jeans and some simple shoes and calling it a day because denim just screams you look great but you didn't try and it's always that idea or that outfit in your head where you know it's always going to work so i was at the thrift store two three weeks ago and i stumbled upon this like dark denim top it looks like this and i just i usually wear like all my little button ups with the um sleeves folded but it's dark denim it has black buttons 
and I have a few other denim tops I know one I like DIY acid washed it but I didn't want to do that with this one because I didn't have a top like this I didn't have a top that was just solid and I could dress up or dress down I feel like with printed denim or like acid wash denim you can kind of only go in one direction with that but you guys I've been killing this top I've been wearing it any chance that I get to work to the grocery store, to Walmart, to run errands, to go get gas, to go hang out with friends. I've just been loving it. Um, I've, I've, of course, like I said, I'll just wear it with like jeans, some Adidas, or some cute little black leather pants and some cute heels. It just works. This is by the brand George. I've, I've seen this label before. I'm not sure if they sell this brand at Target, but I got this one at the thrift store. And this only ran me like $5. The denim or the chambray, it might be chambray, whatever, is super soft, super worn in. It's like kind of thin, so it's good for layering and also like in your warmer seasons just for wearing by yourself. But I'm loving it. If I could wear it to bed, I would. So my second to last item is a health item, which is healthy but tastes good. And I told myself that I'm going to get back on like my little workout train because I played basketball for like seven years and I still play here and there with my friends. Um, but I wanted something that was also going to make sure that I was getting my vegetable and fruit intake in daily. I'm anemic, been anemic all my life. My iron levels are low, cold all the time, sleepy all the time. That never changes. Just, I'm just used to it. So, so here at my house, we recently just purchased a Nutribullet and um i was like you know what i'm gonna take advantage of this i'm going to make my little green juices my little green smoothies and i'm just gonna try and like move myself onto more of a healthier track so we like cut up bananas we chopped up some kale raspberries um honeydew all these nice fruits and we just froze them and then it's easy like when you're ready to make your smoothie, you just get out what you need, throw it in there, blend it up, pour it in your cup, and, and you're good to go. So I've been loving not only the Nutribullet, but I've been loving green juices, green smoothies. And if you're someone who doesn't really like vegetables or fruits, I personally like vegetables and I like fruits. I feel like they taste good. You can also get like juice, like apple juice or cranberry juice or grape juice and just pour a little bit in there. Um, make sure your water to juice intake your water ratio is higher than the juice So put more water in there and a little bit of juice that just to like enhance some of the sweeter flavors in the fruits and the vegetables that you're using But I love it. I'm having like two a day So I'll make one big one at night and then I'll split it up into like two cups I'll put one in the fridge so that when I'm going to work in the morning I can just grab it and I'll drink the other that night I find more now that I crave the taste of a green juice over like a soda or like a regular juice I'm craving one now and hopefully after this video I'm gonna be able to go make one in peace all right so now we're down to my last favorite and I'm surprised because my last favorite is actually a song or an artist or whatever the two go hand in hand but I'm not a big music person I don't know why I'm a really big fashion person but I realize like with creative things everything kind of goes hand in hand so I'm getting into like listening to new artists and different sounds my brother's like a producer so I enjoy the mixes and the um, audio concoctions that he comes up with but the song that I'm loving right now like the rest of the world is I think his name is Bryson Tiller <laughs> Bryson Tiller don't you guys like where was I when that song dropped where was I when he came out because like his music is so good his album is so good it's so bomb and I'm especially loving this song his music to me is like good anytime music you know there's certain songs that people make and they're only good for certain scenarios like they're only good for when you're with your friends hanging out or if you're partying or if you're by yourself thinking Drake <laughs> but his music to me is just like good anytime music like I can listen to it when I'm chilling or kicking it with my friends when I'm by myself if I'm trying to party if I'm trying to hang like it's bomb and I'm killing I'm I'm killing it hey guys that was everything from November that I was loving hopefully next month I'll get more into like fashion pieces or fashion favorites because I'm a fashion kind of girl but I'm really glad I got into some more beauty products this 
November and also kind of opened up my mind for other products that I want to try for like December and going on into the new year but I should be back with a winter fashion fallish favorites video hopefully this week or next week but until then guys be blessed and stay bellish Draniums.